Hey there, I'm Patricia Albright Fitness. I want to talk to you today about cardiovascular health. As you know, heart disease is prevalent in this country and in, and in many uh, countries in the Western world um, that have a lot of obesity, a lot of type 2 diabetes, and things that are lifestyle diseases, diseases that are caused by our diets and exercise um, and various things of that nature. Um, so one of the problems with cardiovascular health is that, you know, we don't move enough. Everybody knows that, right? You should move more. That you shouldn't sit as much during the day, take breaks, do a little bit of movement. One thing that people don't always realize is that you can add up. Say if your goal is to get 30 minutes of cardiovascular um, four, five, six times a week, whatever your goal is, there's nothing wrong with doing five minute chunks, 10 minute chunks, 15 minute chunks. It all adds up throughout the day. You don't have to do it all at once, okay? Um, the body is actually meant for sprints in a way. If you think about us being um, cavemen, right, or cave women, uh, we would run from a tiger, we would run towards our meals. We would run from other tribes, you know, we'd have to sprint um, in order to escape danger or get something we need uh, because we were hunter-gatherers, right? Um, so that's kind of what we're meant to do. So doing cardio, you know, a slow run or a, a bike for an hour or two hours, as I see some people doing, uh, to me that's kind of a, a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit hard because you have some repetition uh, injuries, injuries caused on too much repetition or overuse. Uh, so you know, kind of be smart about it. You know, think about your diet and exercise as going hand in hand. But in order to increase your cardiovascular health, you do need to do at least a good 20 minutes where you're in a nice aerobic zone, um, at least four times a week. So that would be a good way to target. Four times a week, I'm going to do 20 minutes of solid cardio. And that includes, or it doesn't include your, your ramping up time to get to your cardio zone and your cooling down time. So think of about a 30 minute session, give or take. All right, and it could be, like I said, broken up. It's okay, you don't have to do it all at once. And you don't have to do it all on one machine. I see some people going on a machine, especially if they've never been on that machine, and then they'll say, oh, I gotta do my 30 minutes. And like, if it was a new machine, you know, and you're over 20, <laughs> it's probably gonna give you a problem if you do 20, 30 minutes, you're gonna be pretty sore because you're not used to that particular stimuli, right? So there's nothing wrong with doing five minutes on that machine and then going and doing your 25 minutes on something you're more used to uh, that you can do without that feel of injury or break it up for several machines and build up slowly. So I know I'm going over a lot of issues there, but some things I've often heard at um, about at gyms and, and from my clients uh, through the years about cardio questions. So that good target of, you know, 30 minutes um, of cardio or at least 20 minutes of, of good cardio time there uh, four times a week is going to improve your cardiovascular health, right? And studies have shown that, uh, you know, it really increases your capillaries and uh, blood flow it has so many benefits. You know, not only your heart is a muscle and your health, but also increases uh, the blood flow to your brain. So it actually increases your intelligence and your memory and things of that nature. And as we all know, it makes us feel good to move. I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes you'll be tired at the end of the day. And you're like, oh, I have to. We're dedicated. I'm going to get my workout in. And you start moving. And after about five minutes, you feel better. And you're like, oh, so glad I did this, right? So then you actually feel more energized and feel better. So the body is meant to move. Make sure you move it and have that goal of a good 20 minutes of solid cardio, solid cardio uh, at least four times a week to improve your heart health, right? And you could do that with uh, videos of mine, videos of other, whoever you like, go to classes, go for a nice brisk walk, however you wanna do it, but just make sure you do it, okay? That's my message for today, and thank you so much for listening. Please do subscribe to my channel and check out these other videos if you wanna do some cardio right now. Um, I'll have some on there. Thank you so much. Have a great day.